What's up guys, it's your boy Barca Boy 103. The transfer window just shut and Barcelona have taken a massive, massive L. We'll talk about it in just a second. Let's do a whole overview over the past 24 hours because a lot of stuff happened and a lot of things that need to be covered. First is that immediately after the Sevilla game, there are rumors coming out saying that Barcelona go to sign Memphis Depay and Eric Garcia in the next 24 hours. Like, it came as a shock. Everyone was like, what, what, what? We just lost, now we're going to sign two World Diva players. Let's see, we just played De Jong at striker, now we're getting in an actual striker. Let's see what happens. So then everyone was saying after that happens, that first Dembele needs to leave, and Dodibo needs to leave in order to facilitate those two moves. I was against that move, I'll say it right now, you can go check my Twitter, at BarcaBoy103. I was like, no, I'd rather keep Dembele than bring in Depay, but we do need Depay. So what happens is that Manchester United offer a loan, straight loan for Barcelona, for Ousmane Dembele, they say no. They offer a loan with option to buy. They say no. So then they kind of stop negotiations for a few hours. Then they said to the Manchester United, okay, we'll give you a Dembele on loan, but we want a loan fee. We want an option to buy. And you need to cover all his wages. Manchester United said, okay, that's fine. They went to Dembele and said, okay, we'll send him to Manchester United, but you need to extend your contract for one year. Because he has two years left in his deal. If you were to go and come back, you would have one year left in his deal. They did the same thing with Dennis Suarez when we sent him to Arsenal a few seasons ago. He accepted his contract, which would allow him to go on loan to Arsenal. Nabila said, no, I don't want to accept my contract. I said, okay, no problem. Went to United. Nabila ain't coming. They're like, okay. So they go and they buy other players. So Nabila, to you mentioned, was off at that point. It looked like the pile wasn't coming. A couple hours later, Barcelona are set to give PSG Rafinha for free. For free! Are you mad? They were offered asking 60 million two days ago. Now you're gonna give them away for free. I'm pretty sure Santa Vigo offered money. For free! With some crappy variables and a 35% uh, sell on clause. Are you for real? It's like. <sighs> I'm just speechless at this point. Like, I think Bartomeu is just, you know. Just shipping things and doing random stuff, so then when, in like a couple of days he won't be the person anymore. So it won't be on him, you know. So yeah, that's some news for you. Rafinha has had to join PSG for zero million euros, three million in variables, and a thirty-five percent sell-on clause. That's been confirmed. What else has been confirmed? Todibo has been sent to Benfica on loan, with the option to buy for twenty million. Sounds fine, right? But the loan is for two seasons. Two seasons! Two! Are you... Uh, I don't know what to say. Like, he was, he was on the verge of being sold for 20 million to Fulham, and now we're sending him alone for two seasons to Benfica with the option to buy for 20 million. It's basically the shell could deal over again, but it's for two seasons instead of for half a season. And then now, for bits of just week before I started recording this video, that the, the deal for Eric Garcia has collapsed. So we won't be getting Eric Garcia at this uh, window. So we're going into the La Liga, La Liga season. Copa del Rey, UCL. Games left, right, and center. With PK, Longlet, and Araujo as our center backs. You're not wondering, oh, I want to do that. No, I'm just doesn't count. He'll be in the hospital most of the time. We're going in to La Liga, UCL, and Copa. With three center backs for a two center back formation. And you know what else? We're going to those so same three competitions with Griezmann playing on the wing instead of Nibeli, with Messi playing at the false nine, and as Braithwaite as backup for Messi. Martin Braithwaite as backup for Lionel Messi. I mean what? I mean... You know what? I'll tell you one thing. The one good thing, the one silver lining today... Is that TV3 Sport saying that Ricky Puch will be promoted to the first team? Now, it's not been confirmed. It hasn't happened yet. None of the top sources say it. Just TV3, who are a pretty decent source, are saying that Ricky Puch will be promoted to the first team. That's some good news. But we give Rafinha for free. We give Toribo a two season loan. And we don't bring anyone in. That's two players out, two players in. Right? I'm seeing all of this news like, oh, if, the, if, we, if we can't uh, sell the bill, we can't get the pie. We just sold two players. How come we can't bring the pie in? I don't understand. It has to be a forward? Rafinha is a forward. He's a, a cam. Plays on the wings. He's a forward. I don't understand why. The paperwork's were ready. L Olympic Lyon sent the paperwork to Barcelona. 
All they had to do was sign it. Boom. Shipped. Medicals. Done. And Barcelona just in front of like, oh, we can't afford the deal. We can't do it. Sorry. I'm like, uh, I, don't, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. There's money there because obviously we, we, we've, you know, reduced nearly 70 million off the wage bill with selling Vidal, Suarez, Rakitic, Semedo, and now Rafinha. And we can't afford 40 million for them, uh, for Depay and Eric Garcia. We'll probably go for them again in January because they're going to have six months left of their contracts and the two teams are going to be desperate to sell them. But we need them now. We have games coming now. Think of fast. I was just looking at the schedule. It goes La Liga, UCL, La Liga, Copa, La Liga, UCL, La Liga, Copa. We're going to have three games a week for like the next three months. And we're going in with Morton Braithwaite as our backup striker. We're going with that with three center backs. One of them is PK. He's 35. He, he, there's no way he can play all those games in a row. The good thing is that Araujo will get a chance. But, like, what happens when one of them gets injured? What happens if two of them gets injured? We're done! We're going to go in probably playing Busquets or De Jong as a center back. Are we going to trust in the youth? Probably not, because Coleman's been a hypocrite this whole time. Oh, I'm not going to play Dembele. I'm not going to play Griezmann on the right wing. I'm going to play my striker. That's why he plays. Oh, blah, blah, blah. we got to trust the youth. Why is everyone around Barcelona hypocrites? I don't understand. The shop did an interview today with something about the French national. I don't care what outlet. And he's telling me, he's saying that the reporter how Griezmann's been complaining about Coleman not playing him at striker. When he promised he was going to play him at striker. He's like, I don't understand why I'm playing, being played on the wing when I'm still going to be playing at, at striker. It's like, Coleman was saying from before, like, oh, Barcelona not doing well because they don't play people in the national position. They playing Coutinho out wide, playing uh, Griezmann out wide when they should be playing central. And he goes and he's playing Griezmann, he's playing Griezmann right wing. Every, ladies and gentlemen, he's playing Griezmann at right wing. It's like, unless Coleman doesn't change that, at least switches them. Okay. It's like Coleman either has to play Griezmann, Messi in the middle, and then Dembele Ansu out wide, or continue Griezmann and then Messi out wide. But he knows Messi's gonna drift in. That's why he's starting Messi at the false side and play Griezmann out wide. Then bench Griezmann. At least he'll be a decent bench option. I know. He, I understand he's 120 million. Blah blah blah. Flop blah blah. I would rather him on the bench than playing right wing. I will tell you that right now. I'll say that on video. I'd rather him on the bench than playing right wing. 100. percent It's just like. I'm just speechless. We're going into the season with three center backs, one striker, and hoping we can survive until January. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be difficult. We still have Rafinha. Dodibo's gone. Those are the two confirmed today. Eric Garcia's not going to happen, and Depay is not happening. And another L by Barcelona. And Jordi Alba's been confirmed to be injured for out for two to three weeks, so Firpo will get his chance. Miranda was sent on loan to Real Betis. Alex Coyal has been injured. He's going to be out for two to three months. It's just been a circus. Circus FC. You know what else we are? Free FC. You know why? Because we keep sending all of our players for free. Like, just let hear me out. Bartomeu was asking for $16 million for Rafinha. The whole transfer window. The whole transfer was $16 million, He's yours. So if you go offer me, I don't know what they offer. I forget, man. Like, maybe 8 10 something like that. He's like, nope. $16 million. Deadline day gives him to PSG for free. What Bartomeu has done has absolutely ruined this club. And he's just making it more of an impossible task for the new president to come in. Because I can tell you this right now, the new president is going to be coming in. Because the votes are like 1,000 away from him being a motion of no confidence being successful. Which will probably be conferred either tomorrow or the day after. So Bartomeu is leaving, 100%. And he's just trying to F up everything for the new president. That's basically what his goal is right now. And it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. For Bishop Ron just tweeted that the Eric Garcia deal is off. Game over. And now we're stuck here. Two players down and not two players in. They'll probably cover up all this by promoting Ricky Push. They know all the fans want it and they didn't want to do it in the first place. Absolute disgrace. Barcelona have taken a massive L in this transfer window. Who do we bring in overall? Uh, Pedri, Trincao, Pjanic, Mateus Fernandez. How is he still here too, by the way? How, we haven't sent him alone. He's still here. If, if this man gets into the team, I said this before. If this man, I'll say this on video. If Mateus Fernandez of FC Barcelona gets into the team ahead of Ricky Puch, I will fly to Barcelona and slap Ronald Coleman and Bartomeu. That will be the biggest, the, oh, the internet would explode. The, the, the Barcelona Twitter and Instagram would explode if Mateus Fernandez gets picked Ahead of Ricky Puch. Because they're going to have to give him a first team number now. And if they give him a number, not Ricky Puch, the internet will explode. Not as much as, you know, when Messi was leaving. But I think it's pretty close to that explosion. 
So we're going to see what's going to happen now. So Eric Garcia is no, Depay is no, Rafinha is a yes, and Todibo is a yes. That's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. I do think for this season we are screwed. I do not see us winning a single trophy. We're going to need a miracle. We're going to need, we need to be injury free. I don't see that happening. Unless Coleman changes up the system or unless Messi goes on a roll or, or Griezmann turns into, I don't know, prime push guess. I don't know. But it's looking like it's going to be a big season fail. Just want to let you guys know by the furthest end of the video that tomorrow the Ball Ground at Faithful Podcast episode 3 will be coming out. So stick out, you know, keep your eyes out for that one because that's probably going to be a long one. We're going to talk about, you know, Barcelona versus Sevilla. We're going to talk about the whole chance window overview. So it's going to be a good listen. So I hope you guys, you know, keep your eye out, so out for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time on the channel. It's been a very, very disappointing deadline day for, in the terms of Barcelona aspect. And I was sitting here all day, you know, refreshing Twitter, refreshing everything, and came away as losers. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Let's get any and all energy for this one. And Forza Barca. Barca.